Connection licensing is important because it controls how many different connections are deployed within your Atomsphere account. An audit is performed during deployment to ensure the allowed connection number, meaning the purchase connection licenses number, for your Atomsphere subscription is being deployed. Even though the connection library allows you to build and test integrations via test mode, an audit is performed upon deployment and the results are displayed in the licensing view. To access licensing, go to Setup Licensing. This displays the connector deployments across your processes and atoms and limits process deployments per account. In the event zero licenses are available in your account, a simple pop-up displays an error indicating your deployment is rejected. The processes can still run in the Build tab, but remember, there are size and number of document process limitations. But we are focusing on the production environment, so the limitation is the number of licenses. Let's review a deployment scenario to show how to calculate connection licenses. A process has an FTP and disconnector. An Atomsphere user decides to deploy the process to two different atoms, perhaps the Atom Cloud and a local atom for load balancing. This means there are two unique connections in the process, one for FTP and one for disk. Licenses are applied per each unique deployed atom, in this case two, most likely meaning the integration was deployed on two different servers. So how many license in total? Four. We could deploy our process in only one atom, and this would only take up two licenses. To prevent running out of licenses when trying to deploy new processes in your account, avoid using duplicate connection components in a single process. Even though they may contain the same login info, they'll still eat up your license count. Create a shared connections folder to house common integration components. You can reuse common components throughout all integration projects. And you can work with your Dell Boomi account or partner manager to create a license count which works best for you and your company. We're going to do exercise four, which is another walkthrough to review the deployed connection licenses. So to recap, when deploying a process, Atomsphere does an audit to check the purchase number of connection licenses for your Atomsphere subscription. So you can see this audit begin when a pop-up window displays recalculating dependencies and auditing deployments. The results display in your licensing view. In this exercise, we're going to view the results of the prospect tracking deployment. So in the top right corner of the platform window, you can click Account and Setup. So you're going to hover over your account name, and you're going to click Setup. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down under Account, and we're going to select Licensing. In the Connections by Class table, you can note even the deployed connections compared to the available connections. So in this case, we have three standard connectors and three deployed. So you'll see your total number of connectors for each category. Each license category has a particular integration need. So small business licenses are for Sage 50, which is like Peachtree, FreshBooks, and QuickBooks. Standard licenses are used for Salesforce, database success factors. Enterprise licenses would be SAP, so Business Suite and NetWeaver, and Oracle eBusiness Suite. And then your training partner would be used for EDI integrations. So for example, if we clicked on one of our standard licenses, we click on our database. This is our MySQL license. You can see that the type is database, the current name is the Boomi Training MySQL, and then it shows you that it's deployed to the Atom Cloud, it's used in the process prospect tracking, the connector name is again Boomi Training MySQL with type database. That completes exercise four, reviewing the deployed connection licenses.